Hey, what's good YouTube? Brody here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made the song um, One Year Around by Shinigami. This song I'm so stoked on. I've Growing up, I this honestly, I would say that like the early 2000s, um, pop rock music, like pop rock, rock, new metal, all of that really was like the first music I discovered on my own and like really listened to a ton. And I would say that directly and like subconsciously, is one of my biggest influences in like how I hear music and how I write. So when Shinigami came to me and wanted to make a song like this, I was 100% down. I'm so excited. I've always loved this style and like hinted at it in a lot of my production, but being able to just like fully 100% go into it and make a song this way, so much fun. So yeah, let's dive into it. So it starts off, so the whole song plays the same chord progression. And it starts off uh, with that chord progression with acoustic guitar. So we get the, I'll just play the rhythm. The intro starts out just outlining, playing it simple, do a little tape stop into the drums. I thought you could make it so easy. And a little more arpeggiated and syncopated, like just more happening. Love the turnaround here, chord wise. I'll play through. I also added this lead on top, which they kind of really glue together well. All of it I'm double tracking. So both of these I recorded twice, hard left and hard right. Processing is pretty minimal. I have mostly just a little bit of compression and EQ just to tighten it all up, but all together, Yeah, and then from there, we go to the verse, and um, there's extra guitar going on. I take, the, with again, with the acoustic guitar, I outline the chords just by strumming them real loud, and like again, hard left and right, blending it with the electric guitar. Love the little like mutes and everything. I tried to like have a lot of like attitude when I was playing the parts, like just make them fun and over the top. I specifically love on this section of the chord progression when it's rising you get all of that tension when I add the um so it goes from flat seven and the minor scale to seven which typically isn't in the in the minor scale it before it hits the one but um theory aside it's just three notes like back to back half steps away from each other which is just very tense and chaotic. Or not chaotic, very tense, very like, there's tension within the chords and it just adds a really cool emotion to it. So it goes here, there, and I just love that sound. But yeah, so that's the acoustic guitar. I, again, I used my same trick with my bass where I just recorded my Strat just, just the low E string hitting the bass line through an octave down pitch shifter on it compressed it and ran it through some tones I didn't run it through a bass amp this time I just ran it through decapitator a little more chill so yeah I um let's see the next thing I'll get into is the electric guitar just playing similar things to the acoustic, but I, I'm super happy with the tone on this one too. Just a nice like mid-gain kind of rock tone. So you have the rhythm here, playing the same thing the acoustic did. Then this lead, just adding some ambience. Then we hit the hook here, where things kind of pick up a bit. So I'm adding this guitar lead, again, hard left and right. 
pretty high gain, so there's like sustain throughout. And then the chords, so to kind of uh, keep the energy difference in the verses, it's pretty percussive. And then in the hook, it's just all rung out the whole time. It's a subtle way to make a difference between sections. section. And yeah, essentially that's it for the melodic side of things. Just guitar and bass and yeah, that's it. No, actually no synths or pianos or anything in this one. That's surprising for me. But um, yeah, just simple, straight to the point. So, so drum wise, I, so to start with like the super 2000s R&B kind of drums in the verses. I love that sound. So, so like of that time, what I did was, here it is. I used um, a plugin I love called Stylus RMX. It is um, made by Spectrasonic. So the same company that does like Omnisphere and Keyscape. And it's a drum loop sequencer. It's really interesting. So it's kind of like taking drum loops, but then you can edit the loops and swap out notes, change the way. It's like a mix between a sequencer and a folder of loops. It's really cool how you can customize it. But anyways, Stylus RMX came out in the 2000s and the sounds definitely have not been updated that much since then. And it sounds kind of dated in a, in a really cool way. So I just like took a loop from there. I bounced it to audio. I chopped it up a little bit to just make it hit the rhythm that I wanted and just kind of EQ'd a little bit, threw a little bit of distortion on to help it fit in. And yeah, I, I love that sound. Then I added, um, so these two sound, of, sound loops are from my first drum kit. They're just a shaker and a hi-hat or a, and a tambourine sample just that I have for my desk here. It's funny, I have I bought these and then I recorded them one time and just used that loop over and over, but I think they sound great. Really of that era again. And then we go to my live drums, which I kind of saved this for last because I want to talk uh, kind of more in depth about that section. Because I really love how the drums turned out on this. So um, I know I've posted on my YouTube um, my how I made the song Icarus. Um, and that I talk about my drum production a bit. But um, I wanted to share this one too because it's kind of the same, mixing wise, kind of the same idea. I have all of my different drum sounds and a different track i have some different processing going on for each of them some bus compression on all of it to glue it all together but really had a lot of fun with um different accents and velocities throughout this so i'll just kind of let you guys see a lot of ghost notes and accent notes on the snare and the different velocities make a huge difference in making it sound natural. Then we hit the hook here. Gets to the crash. Every other crash is a little bit lighter. That way you keep the momentum, but it's not too abrasive. I just wanted it to sound like as real as possible. And it's pretty much the same, a similar groove throughout the whole song, but the different symbols I use, the different velocities, some of the different like accents really change it and keep it dynamic throughout. I love how it turned out. So we'll listen to it from here to here.
Yeah, and then for the bridge, we go back to the verse. And yeah, that's essentially it. Honestly, production-wise, pretty simple song. Just like standard standard rock song with a couple fun elements with like drums and acoustic guitar and whatnot. But yeah, great great song. Cool like period piece, if you will. So excited on how this one turned out. It was so much fun to be a part of. And I'm glad to share it with you guys. If you made it to this point in the video, thanks so much for watching. It really means a ton. If you are interested in this style of video, I have in the link and a link in the description a Patreon where I'm always putting new videos up that are long form, like discussions of my beats and mixing, watching me cook up from scratch, mix some songs, whatever, what have you, and just like way more in detail how I do things, how my process is. So yeah, if you're interested in that, link is in the description. Regardless, appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. Peace out.